Hello everyone! Welcome to this match day vlog, Cherry's Red Army. It's actually match day minus one because this week AFC Bournemouth released a 90s retro shirt range Friday for gonna treat myself. This is a big weekend for the Cherries. Got to beat Fulham on Saturday. Gonna treat myself to a shirt. Do I go for the red and black one or is it purple mixture? Don't know. I'll decide in a bit. But tomorrow's game for Bournemouth, I see it as a must win. It has to be a must win. I just don't think draws at home, 11 games to go, are, are gonna be enough. So we need to pick up a win. That'll take us into confidence. A few days later, hopefully, taking on Brighton to do something we haven't done all season, back-to-back -back wins. But let's focus on Fulham with regards to them. They are a team that have had a good season. They're currently ninth, but they are gonna be missing two players that have had lots of goal contributions. Mitrovic, Willian, both suspended. So this gives an advantage to the Cherries. It's not gonna be an easy game, even without them, but we've got to see this as a chance to beat Fulham, get above the dotted line, stay above the dotted line, kick on, get more results. And if we can get players back in this squad that have been on the injury list, it's gonna give us, give us an even more of an advantage. Conditions today on the Friday, wet, windy, I'm not sure what the conditions are tomorrow, but it'll be interesting. It will definitely mix the fixture up because the fixture between the teams of late in recent history is goals, score draws. The last three have been score draws. And when I'm talking about players that could help Bournemouth, we have to come to Dom Solanke. He hasn't scored since November in the league, but he does like a goal against Fulham. And I have a really good feeling that on Saturday, when we wake up, we head to Dean Court, Dom Solanke's going to get goal. Maybe the winning goal, and I hope he does, because we're going to need Dom Solanke to find his shooting boots. Right, smash the like button. Please subscribe to Cherry's Red Army. I want your comments at the end of this video. I've got to decide. Red and black, purple mixture. Let's go, Cherries. Mark Aiden. Yeah, all good. I'm going for two 0 the cherries, I think. Big Dom's gonna gonna score today. He's due a goal. Yeah. And he's got a good scoring record against Fulham. He certainly has. He scored the last three times against Fulham, but he hasn't scored since November. He needs a goal, Bournemouth need a goal if we're gonna stay up. Yeah, and I think today is make or break. We need three points yes. today, else I think it's all over. Three points a day and then we've got some more winnable games we could go on a little run and yep. all of a sudden by the end of the season we've been mid-table and we're going, what are we panicking about? Well as long as we finish 17th I'll be happy. They enjoy yeah. the game Mark. Thank you. Team lineups are out Aaron. Unchanged from that 3-0 loss at Villa Park but a very good strong bench. Well, bench is brilliant. I'd love to see some of them in the team. Um, yeah, unchanged. Player for player, I'm not massively surprised, although obviously it was a really poor performance at Villa. Um, I guess if Tavernier's fit and Traore are fit, you'd like to see them in the starting lineup. You know, these are the get we said it before, it's a must win game. Is Anthony as effective without Zamora, who's obviously not involved again? I'd like to see maybe Tav on the left, Traore for Rothwell, but Rothwell's been really good, so it's tricky. And obviously, Zabani's now fit, but Stevens has been playing well, so yeah, I'm not surprised, but. Hopefully, hopefully we won't need them, but if we do, then we've got a great bench. Yeah, and interestingly, when we knew that we'd have this depth in the squad, players will have to come out. Now, we're not sure if there's injuries or illness involved, but no key for more. Jordan Zamora is likely to be a contract issue. No Chris Meppham. Yeah. Season 
was on a high before the World Cup. Now he just can't even get close to this starting level. Yeah, it looked difficult decisions for Gary O'Neill. I mean, he was he was arguably our player of the season, and Jack Stevens came in and has done really well, you know. But then will he be ruthless and brings the Barney in if he's as good as he said everyone thinks he is? So, yeah, as you say, players left off the bench. Um, Stacey and Fredericks obviously aren't there either, so no right back cover on the bench. We need it. I'd like to see Vina have another go. Um, you know, as I said, Champions League football, Uruguay international. He's obviously got something about him. My worry about Kelly playing at home and in left back is that he doesn't get forward enough. Um, doesn't obviously give you what Jordan Zamora gives you. And from Vina's run the other day, you can see how he can get forward. So that's a worry for me today. Must win. Must win today. I think I've said it about 50 million times between now and three o'clock when it comes. Must win. Take us into the next game, Brighton in midweek, with something to play four back-to-back -back wins and two results, and everything looks different. Two-one for me today. Yeah. Um, as you said, you know, it's like you look at the league table. It's not a must win, but I think it is. It is a, yeah. close to a must win because. It's, you know, these are sort of games with the players that they got out, we've got to try and get a result from. Um, so I'm going to stick with what I think as well. 2-1 win for Bournemouth. Head into the turnstiles. Rich Neil always catches me heading to the turnstile. You right? Yeah, yeah, all good, mate. You? Yeah, look, rain stops. It's going to be a great game. Normally, is between these football teams, Bournemouth and Fulham. Score prediction today? How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Uh, let's go. Let's go three-one. Kurt, three-one today. Hasn't happened this season yet. Yeah. Well, it's going to happen, isn't it? Dom Slanky goal. Yeah. yeah. Let's go for two, shall we? <laughs> let's have a fast day. <laughs> The squad is pretty much there, no excuses. 11 Cup Finals starts today. Need to shine, going into battle. Here comes the action. the away team but dictating comfortably going through Pereira spraying the ball about no clear-cut chances for either team yet but Fulham dictating possession the tempo atmosphere just gone down a few levels really need to get the atmosphere up again big game for Bournemouth this is we need to increase our tempo soon going into the next block at this half because we've not really shown anything in the final third and we're not getting on the ball at the moment. We're in possession, get forward, create some chances. Or you can forget everything I just said, because Pereira's just put it 1-0 to Fulham, and that has been coming 
in regards to them dominating the fixture for the first 15 minutes. Really, really poor start for Bournemouth. Tempo absolutely nothing there. Well, there's always goals in the game between both teams. Both teams have scored in the last three fixtures. We're going to need to score in this game. It's 1 0 to Fulham. been poor for 20 22 minutes they've just hit the bar they're one nil up we have got to sort ourselves out time to wake up time to start dominating our possession We're putting ourselves in this fixture before it's too late This is embarrassing. said before the game but we have been lacklustre what he does need to do is get stuck into that team at half time as this continues to be a must win game there is a lot of good talent on the bench I've made changes we, have, we, have, we can't waste any more time tickets are on sale now number 16 Marcus Tavernier
last 20 minutes we are heading into Marcus Tavernier is the game changer. Contrast in halves, how can we be so poor in the first and so much better in the second? Arguably should be winning this fixture 2 or 3 1, but we're in it, it's currently 1 1. 20 or so minutes to go. Free kick for Bournemouth, 35 to 40 yards out. Wasted. fans thank you for checking out this match day vlog hit the like button subscribe get those comments in Fulham you've had a good season we always have a good game against you so thank you if you're a Fulham fan checking out this match day vlog wish you all the best the rest of the season you're being you're going to be in the Premier League next season so well done to you for us well that first half was almost an embarrassment it was not anything close to what you need if you're going to battle to survive. Fortunately, Gary O'Neill, thankfully, made changes and two of those changes were Ryan Christie at half-time with Marcus Tavernier. And Tavernier was the shining light in that second half. Man match performance, wonder strike. He was brilliant for us in that first half of the season before the World Cup, especially late on before we broke for the World Cup, adding goals and assists, and we've really missed him. Only having him two in 12 games has clearly not helped us. And today he's come on the pitch for 45 minutes and he's scored a goal. He was everywhere. He was very, very good on the ball. He was delicate with his passing. 
He scored one. He might have thought that he should have scored two, but he was everywhere. And, and we need to keep Marcus Tavernier fit. Dom Solanke got that goal that he's needed. His first league goal in 2023. Scores against Fulham every single game. They must absolutely hate playing Dom Solanke. And he got the winner, bundled it over. It was nothing amazing. I mean, he, he was trying so hard in the game, Dom. I mean, we know he works hard and he was trying so hard to score. And, he, and he's almost over trying now. And the goal he scored would be everything apart from that, just literally trying to just bundle it over. And he did that because Leno didn't deal with it. But it's three points. We're outside the relegation zone. We've got Brighton next. And it's a massive, massive three points for us. It was a must-win game, unfortunately. It turned out to be that, and I was really worried at half-time. But it was a, a must-win game, and now we just got to kick into the next one, which is Brighton. Can we get six points out of six, which would be fantastic for us and halfway to our target. And if we can do that, then we go to Leicester the week after, and Leicester are all out of sorts. So keep plugging away. Enjoy the weekend. Quick turnaround in the Premier League. Brighton next. We'll try and bring you some content for that. Do check out the channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button because the Cherries come back after the international break and get another win on the board. Thank you to Marcus Tavernier and Dom Solanke. Look after yourself. See you on the next one. Oh, chess.